You've told me it happens. I've seen it happen myself. You literally don't have room to float your couch out from the wall. So does that mean you're stuck with a substandard arrangement? Not really. There are some things you can do. Let's talk. I'm Doug Walker, and this is Roominess. If you have questions or thoughts you'd like to share about rooms that are too small, leave me a comment below. And to get more bite-sized interior decor advice from my channel, hit the subscribe button. If you've watched my previous videos, you know I'm in favor of floating your couch out from the wall. Some of you have said that you simply don't have room to float your couch that way. But before we talk about that, is it at all possible to angle your couch out from the wall? Even a little angle, skewing the entire arrangement, is better in my book than pushing your couch flat against the wall. Even if angling your furniture isn't a possibility, there are some things you can do to keep your wall-bound furniture from making your room feel small. First, try flanking your furniture with other pieces. You're creating the look of a built-in. You can do this with tall storage pieces on either side of your sofa. Or you can simply have something taller than the couch on each side. A lamp, a plant, or art. By adding some height out from the walls on either side of the couch, you can distract from the fact that it's butted up against the wall. Second, draw focus elsewhere. Really pop another wall in your room. It needs to dominate your view when you enter the room so your eye doesn't go immediately to the couch on the wall. Briefly, a feature wall makes a big statement using color, a different material, or large art, or another focal point. Try to be low contrast with your colors. So if you have an off-white couch, have it against an off-white wall. If you have a red couch, it might seem crazy, but you might go with a stronger color choice for your wall. Terracotta or brown might be a more neutral approach to that, but a red wall wouldn't be out of the question. Next, you need to think about the wall that's behind your couch. This can be a bit tricky. My standard approach is to relate art to the height of the couch rather than a specified distance off the floor. But with the couch against the wall, one guffaw laugh can bring your art crashing to the ground. <laughs> Who guffawed? Be cognizant of what you hang above your couch, how deep it is, and how you hang it. You might want to avoid anything with hard or sharp edges, and you might want to attach it at the bottom as well as the top to secure it better. A matched set of pictures, possibly a set of six or eight, hung above the sofa can give the wall depth, again decreasing the sense that the wall is hemming you in. A particularly bad case is a sofa that must be against window wall. If at all possible, find a sofa that will fit just below the window. It will appear more as a window seat that way, rather than an ill-placed sofa. With the couch directly against your windows, which I can't argue enough against, Avoid having drapes on your windows. Drapes that can't possibly function because of the location of your couch become an eyesore. Use some kind of top-down blind instead. You can use the flanking bookcase idea here as well to help create the sense of a window seat. A worse situation still would be a sofa against a wall with two windows separated by wall space. In this case, I would be looking to make the wall space between the windows a focal point. It may take some real creativity to do this. An oversized picture that actually overlaps some of the window casing, or maybe spanning the distance between the windows with a mirror, and have chunky framed pictures hung from a picture rail above. In my opinion, making a couch backed up against a wall look good is one of the toughest challenges in decor. I see a lot of professionals not do it very well. So leave me your questions in the comments below. If you know just one person who should see this video, hit the share button. To up your interior decor game, hit the subscribe button. You can get on my email list at roominesstv.com. Thanks for watching.